Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Highland uh, 35. The wind's blowing pretty hard today, so I hope it doesn't interfere with the mic too much. But this little Highland 35 is going on market. It'll be on the market. This is a little sneak preview of it before it goes on market. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys and gals, today we're aboard. Uh, this is a unique trawler. It's a 35-foot trawler here. I'll show you some um, uh, drone footage here while, we're, uh, uh, while I'm talking about the boat. It is a... Uh, Fontaine Peugeot. It's a French-made boat. And one of the advantages to buying a, you know, like a used boat like this, like in this market today, if you wanted to buy one of these, you would be, uh, you know, you'd get on a list and it'd probably take about two years to build one. So this one's going to be brought to market. It's not, unfortunately, I didn't get the complete listing on it, but it is a co-brokered listing. So contact me if you'd like to take a look at it or uh, purchase this vessel. Um, these are 35 foot, it's got a 14 foot beam on it, it's got twin uh, Yanma, or sorry, the twin Volvo 75 horse engines in it. Uh, each engine has 450 hours on it, and we'll go through and show you the engines here in a second. So let's go on ahead and head upstairs here, and let me show you the, uh, the helm real quick. Or before we do that, let's take a walk on the deck. All right guys, let's follow me on up, and let's go to the front deck here to show you a quick view of the front deck. Wind's been blowing. <laughs> so you can see right here, it's just got a big deck up here. You can walk around, do whatever you want. Underneath here is the anchor. And you can see the anchor right here. All right, guys, so you can see inside here, we have storage, a big storage compartment, and that's where the actual windlass sits. So we got some batteries and stuff like that inside here, but that's that's for the windlass right there. These boats, these this manufacturer makes high-end uh, sailing catamarans, uh, and then they made a few of these trawlers. Up here on the helm, you can see right here that these are uh, lounging seats right here. The cushions are are in the boat here, and this all just makes a a, a set settee to set on. And then up here we got full Garmin. It does have autopilot, uh, full Garmin, uh, twin engine. These boats are easy to handle. They make great looping boats just because this, this particular boat is very economical. You got a seat up here for two. And then like I said, Ben, why don't you show them the seating right here? Did you already show it? You can see the helm up here. Just a beautiful boat. And then not all, all the cushions go on there to make for a nice seating area. You saw that in some of the drone footage. All right, so come on aboard here and let's walk the inside of the boat here. So you can see as you walk in here, you got your TV, you got a propane stove right here, a storage up underneath here uh, for your kitchen supplies. Um, they've got cut cutting board here, storage inside this cabinet right here. Show that to him, Bev. Then you got your sink. TV right here. And then you got a wonderful lounge area right here, up on top here. That's a big, small 35 foot boat. Got a refrigerator with a little freezer on top right here. And this works on 12 volt or 110. And then more storage right here. We got storage and that's one of the AC units right there. Like I said, this is a turnkey ready to go. It's gonna be listed at 285 thousand dollars let's come down below here and this boat shows it pretty much shows like a it's going to survey really really well so again in here we call this the master bedroom uh, you got a tv right here uh, that'll fold and swing around so that you can watch it while you're laying in bed a uh, closet right here um, you can see um, lots of storage space. You got storage underneath here. Um, give them a good look around that bedroom, babe. And then um, up front there is a, a wet a wet head with a toilet and sink. And then more storage closets right here. You can open this up. All right, let's go over to the other side here. Let's 
kind of in store mode right now, but I'll show you what we can. Again, you can walk through here and you can see uh, that's all the outside cushions right there for that top deck, but that's the second bed right there. And again, the same storage, you got a closet over there on your uh, starboard side and closet down below under the bed. I want to show them that closet real quick on the side right there, man. Yep, that's it, perfect. And then you got the same thing in here. We've got cl closet space and storage underneath here. And then through here, and then same thing, another uh, wet head right here. And you can see, you can see the wet head right here. Showers and sinks. I want you guys to kind of see this big back deck right here. It's uh, really unique. I'm going to go into the uh, starboard uh, engine compartment there because that's where the generator is located. Show you. And then he's got a little sunshade back here. Storage up on top right here. He just keeps the fishing poles and stuff like that in there. I can show it to you real quick. Let me see. Just a little top. Okay guys, I wanted to show you the engine compartment real quick um, because he's got the twin little Volvo uh, 75 horsepower engines. Uh, one of them's brand new and one of them's a complete rebuild with 450 hours on it. And then it does have a generator on it. So you can kind of see this compartment in here. And the generator only has a couple hundred hours on it. So I'm not gonna pull the engine cover on it because it's basically the same thing as the other one, but that's that's the generator right here. So this compartment's dedicated to one engine and the generator. These boats are super maneuverable, uh, easy to handle with their twin screws because the engines are so spread out in it. But just another quick look right here. Okay guys, I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, peace out and remember live life with no regret. You got any questions on this boat, just give me a call and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks, bye.